guys, what's up and welcome to another video. Today, we've got episode 3 of Rebuilding with Skilling. In our last episode, we were able to surpass 100 mil, and this week we've made a pretty good amount of progress again. But let's go ahead and get straight into it. I started out with making some Torstal Incense Sticks, which uh, took me about an hour and 30 minutes. We only made around 3 mil, which wasn't too bad, but I probably wouldn't do it again. It wasn't that fun. Next, I had went on a farm run, which I normally wouldn't mention, but we got 100 grimy snapdragons from a Saren Spirit, which I was very happy with. After that, I decided I wanted to try out something a bit off the wall. I teleported to Taverly, and I ran to the farming shop to buy an inventory of buckets. Then I went to Lumbridge to milk a cow. I took all the milk to the nearest churn and made some butter. After the first inventory, I noticed it would only be about 300k an hour, and making cheese wheels would only hit 600k an hour. Needless to say, I didn't bother making any more. Next, I went to make some more Slayer Rings, and about an hour and a half later we had 1800 to throw into the Disassembler to make more Siphons later on. And soon, I'll need to make some Augmenters with all the enhancing components I'm stacking up. After making the Slayer Rings, I saw an evil tree pop up, so I started smacking it around a bit, and I decided to cut some Elder Logs, since I'd actually never done this before, and we made about a mil in an hour. This is kind of slightly unrelated, but whenever I find myself needing charges on my Grace of the Elves, I just go and borrow some from the Amlot Elves. Next, I wanted to revisit a method that I'd initially failed to profit with, and I decided to go pretty much all in. I bought 5,000 ancient gravel to screen, and after two hours, I only made 4.4 mil, but hey, at least we made a profit. Realizing that I needed to make some serious cash in order to make any progress on the series, I went back to the Old Faithful, smelting Elder Rune bars. About two, two and a half hours for 9.8 mil in total, I could have been much more active while this was happening, but I tend to AFK pretty hard. But knowing I needed to make some real GP gains, I'd put in a buy offer for some Bacriminal Bolts to start buying over time. And we'd actually made about 29,000 Bacriminal Bolts in two and a half hours time. We made an absolutely massive profit of 33.5 mil, clocking this method in at an extremely solid and slightly steamy 13.4 mil per hour. Now going back to the Invention Guild in order to claim my components and make my siphons, we're walking away with 58 more siphons and adding another 12.4 mil to the stack. Next I found this clip of me throwing another 1800 Slayer Rings in my Disassembler, but honestly I don't remember making them. I can't find any recording of them being made or anything. Big fail. But I had noticed that the tier 1 archaeology materials had finally bottomed out, and I figured I'd try making some material crates and seeing what kind of profit I can bring. So I bought a bunch of porter supplies and I started digging, ending with about 170 relics on my first go, and we actually made a decent profit of over 8 mil. I don't have an exact number due to the fact that I still had a ton of materials left over that I was unable to create crates with, but I would ballpark this method upwards of 9 mil per hour, maybe even up to 10 mil. So naturally, I gave it another go, and I dug up another 336 relics, which took about 5 to 5.5 hours grand total, including gathering more components to make the crates, and in total we walked away with about a 10.7 mil profit, which left us with conflicting results making only 2 mil per hour. But again, I have a ton of components left over to create a lot more. For example, to obtain batted parts, I disassembled battle stabs, and that gave me a ton of powerful components for augmenters. I'm currently doing divination for energy to make augmenters in the next episode. I'm also going to have to find something to get base parts. So stick around to see what's coming up next on Rebuilding with Skilling. And with all of that, we've come to the end of the episode. Let's go ahead and price check our bank now to see what we've got. And we're up to 220 mil total now. We're just about to hit the halfway point. Progress is being made. Well, I do hope you all enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take her easy, and have a good one.